Hello, welcome to Strategy and Architecture. My name is Saurabh and in this series I want to start uh, videos on Enterprise Integration Excellence and we are going to cover several topics in this series. Today I'm going to talk about how to define integration strategy for your organization. Since these days business uh, uh, transformation or digital transformation is the key word and uh, without uh, integration excellence it is not possible to have uh, successful outcomes uh, in your digital transformation space as well as in your business transformation space and while consulting engagement some of the questions that comes up uh, while discussing these challenges with executives program managers project managers enterprise architects and and uh, integration architects i'm going to just uh, focus on a couple of them uh, for instance uh, how do we start to define the integration strategy for your organization uh, when to use what integration technology in different integration patterns how to define integration guideline for your portfolio of projects uh, what are the pros and cons of using certain integration tools versus uh, other integration tools uh, what are the preferred protocols to be used to integrate with the one set of tools versus other set of tools and these are the typical questions uh, which comes up during uh, discussions when organizations are trying to define uh, their integration landscape and they're trying to figure out uh, their future state as well as analyze their current state so when we start defining the integration strategy uh, the first question is how to define the strategy how to define the uh, uh, integration strategy now what are the building blocks so the first question that you need to ask when you are about to uh, begin your integration strategy analysis is assess your existing integration landscape and uh, what technology your organization is use using so in this step you need to talk to enterprise architects inter integration architects assess uh, the existing integration landscape and available integration tools review any integration tools or technology uh, which plans to be phased out during the transformation and prepare the inventory for existing landscape if needed the second important question as part of a strategic review is clarify the to be application architecture and possible integration domains and now there are several domains like inter domains intra domains enterprise wide domains for instance you have sales departments you have marketing you have finance so integration within sales and marketing integration within finance and when we talk about cross business integration so how do you integrate your finance with your uh, sales and marketing similarly how you integrate inventory with your procurement these are the complex questions and without having a good understanding of your application architect uh, architecture it's very difficult to figure out the future state and future state is not a state in point in time it is more of a continuous state and this is going to provide you some sort of road map in order to come up with what is important for you in next year and what is important for you in coming years clarify what applications will be in to be landscape and enterprise integration architects also need to understand what type of applications they their organizations are using is it a, a big bulk of SaaS application or these applications are built in-house or it's a mix of legacy application what is the ratio of uh, microservices running on pass environment compared to other applications so it is it gives you a complete understanding of the mix and match of the applications that are being used within your organization and that is going to help you in terms of understanding what sort of integration architecture is required at the enterprise level and based on the high level architecture uh, you need to clarify uh, what are the critical integration points uh, that you need to have across these businesses or across these domains and once you have that uh, you need to figure out whether you need to have uh, uh, bi-directional integration for procure to pay process for instance or you need to have unidirectional integration so this can help uh, enterprise and integration architects to define a relevant integration domain for to be business landscape and uh, and that's very important so uh, the, the the integration domain 
and integration domains might differ from one customer to another customer uh, because there are different business process there are different industries and every industry and every business within the same industry runs in a different way but there are certain standards which are followed at the fundamental level which remain same you also need to figure out uh, how your uh, user centric applications are going to connect to cloud uh, cloud to cloud integration cloud to data center integration uh, cloud to iot integration iot to uh, legacy application integration so there are a lot of um, questions and moving parts that need to be understood before uh, coming up with a conclusion or jumping to conclusion that this or that application or platform is sufficient for your organization number three is understanding to be integration technologies and their capabilities it's not that you buy one platform and that's going to fulfill all your integration needs so once the integration domains are identified uh, you need to start to list all the relevant integration tools available for each of the integration domains and try to develop a deep understanding of their capabilities as are they designed for high volume data integration user integration or event based integration if possible prepare a capability map of these tools on the other hand more and more cloud service providers now provide native integration or integration contents so you can leverage those integration as well uh, in order to accelerate the integration implementation therefore it is important for the architects to evaluate these native integration options from different vendors uh, versus using integration tools to do custom integration development the more custom development you will have in your organization the costlier it will become number four is identify the typical integration use patterns for each integration domain which i already explained so for instance you have specific integration in styles for instance application to application integration you have data integration user integration for instance iot integration or other type of sensors integration and now within that you have different cross use cases it could be api managed integration it could be event based integration it could be stream analytics which is in case of data integration so data integration could be of different type it could be a data replication it could be etl it could be data virtualization it could be data orchestration workflow management is also part of integration robotic process automation so these are some of the cross use cases uh, which floats from uh, process integration to data integration to user integration and to uh, uh, iot integration or any kind of thing type of integration that gives you some idea in terms of how things are uh, uh, mapping across different uh, business domains number five is mapping the integration technology with the integration patterns which i already explained uh, at a high level how, how that happens and that's when you get a decision matrix so one all once all possible use case patterns are identified enterprise and integration architects can start the integration tool evaluation for each of these use patterns use case patterns the mapping to integration technologies services highly depends on the specific customer context so customer contact can be existing investment existing skill set of the it team it enterprise strategy project schedule and so on so forth and different customers or different businesses can have different decisions when selecting the integration tools on the same integration use case so for instance one customer would prefer integrating their a application with the uh, using b technology uh, as the integration platform as they are planning to migrate for instance existing on premises application to multiple uh, saas solutions and there will be more and more integration points in cloud to cloud or cloud to on premises integration domains so you need to you need to put a future lens as well that how your application landscape is going to pan out in next 5 to 8 years that's going to give you a better picture because if you have got a heavy mix of one type of uh, 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 applications and if you don't pay uh, due diligence at this stage uh, your uh, future uh, roadmap in terms of integration will not be aligned with what application roadmap is and that's a very important point and that's going to derail your investment so once you have this uh, uh, decision matrix uh, then you start to prioritize your uh, 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 initiatives and after that define architecture blueprints and integration guidelines based upon the patterns that you identified uh, based on technology mapping 
uh, enterprise architects can attach blueprints to selected use case patterns that outline the involved components and their interactions. Now define the integration guidelines such as integration protocol guide and reusability guidance in order to make sure that wherever you can reuse the existing pattern you are using it. If needed define the interface migration strategy uh, following newly defined architecture blueprints and integration guidelines that you have recently developed. So this is very comprehensive but I gave you an idea in terms of how do you need to approach when it comes to integration strategy and there is a lot to it when we talk about integration excellence uh, i haven't touched on the delivery approach i haven't touched on the value and benefits i haven't touched on how do you scope it i haven't touched on uh, how do you define uh, uh, what is the what is the method of defining the critical use case uh, for integration what, what is the mathematics what is the science behind it similarly there are other areas that we need to touch upon uh, this is it from my side today if you like the video please click the like button if you want to watch more of such content uh, please subscribe button as well thank you so much bye